We're here with a model scaled down of Tyrannus. Yep. First things first, how does it fly by itself? Okay, so um, what you're looking at here um, is a configuration which is designed to be um, low observable to radars and to infrared signatures. Um, that means you have no fin on the aeroplane. Um, you hide the engine. Um, uh, in, this, in the centre of the aeroplane, uh, but you then need a very advanced flight control system that can tr control this aeroplane because of course there's no pilot in the aeroplane, so the pilot is now on the ground and you're now moving on to a more sophisticated shape. In layman's terms, how does this thing know what it's looking for in terms of a target? You build up a mission plan um, in, in, a, in the ground station. It's not dramatically different to the way in which you build a mission plan for a, to for a Hawk or a Typhoon or a Tornado. Um, the difference of course is the fact the guy that's commanding the vehicle is on the ground, he's not sat in the aeroplane. So you start with that mission plan. That has a level of awareness about what that environment looks like. It has a target area. Um, it has uh, information about maybe where threats are. And it will build a route to avoid those things it knows about. What it then needs to be able to do is adapt that mission to maybe a pop-up threat that arrives that it didn't know about before it set off and route itself around that. Um, another thing which we've developed um, through a number of our demonstrators over the years is an ability for these aeroplanes as well as having sensors on board is to onboard process the images it gets from those sensors. So rather than having a video feed to the ground which you would have in something like a Reaper, we're now saying, well no, we'll give you a job to do, we'll give you an area to search, look for buildings or people or tanks or whatever it might be as a target and identify those and tell me when you've found them. At the moment we're not talking about it being fully automated. As you've said, there's lots of points where there's human decision making. Yeah. But this could go and ha go on to have the capability where you take humans out of the equation, is that right? Um, I think for us as a designer, um, we effectively take the lead from, from the MOD on how the rules of engagement want to work. So what we're doing here is proving what technology can do. There is no appetite in UK industry or in the UK MOD to go automated at this point. But if the MOD were to turn around and say, actually, do you know what? Let's go for it, fully automated. Could this go that way? It's a question for them really, isn't it? <laughs> okay. But the capability is there. The capability is there.